We are officially, <laughs> but. It was literally the best worst day of our lives. I thought I was getting murdered. Oh man. We couldn't make this up. Omar. And welcome to the Komar Show. We are here for a quick story time. You guys have been asking about the Boldens. About the Boldens. We are officially <laughs> we are officially married. Yes, we decided to get married on our six-year anniversary. Being Man, together. Time flying. So address me as Mrs. Bolden. You gotta um, talk to us a little differently now. Just, you know what I mean? It is what it is. Like step correct or don't step at all. Yeah. You feel me? It's legal. We decided to do this on our anniversary because Omar asked me out on our anniversary, obviously. Then he proposed on the anniversary. We all remember that. <laughs> I was getting murdered. Oh man. Uh, I thought it was a burglary. That's funny. Yeah, so we were like, if we know one thing, it's that we're gonna get married on 818. Facts. The year jumped up on us, man. And yeah. to be honest, we weren't ready to have the big grand wedding. Yeah, so grand wedding. We, wanted. we didn't want to wait any longer to uh, to become one. After it's you know a lot of conversation between the two of us and discussing things with our family, we just decided to go in and and do something small and intimate for us so we can just become husband and wife and then find time later on down the line to get into the celebration a little bit later. But. With our friends and family. But yeah. for this one, it was literally just our parents and it was our siblings That's and it. the pastor That's and his it. wife. So That's it. It was 12 people on a yacht in California. It was beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful like, in the marina, yeah. great weather. But the reason why we're even telling you guys this <laughs> is because it was literally the best worst day of our lives. We couldn't make this up. The greatest writer in Hollywood couldn't write what happened, what happened on, on this day. Wedding day. But like for the things to happen back to back to back the way that they did on our wedding day, we were just so mind blown by the end of the day. We were like, let's just finish this day off. Like, let's just survive at this point. Man, I couldn't believe and like it was like one thing after the other. I mean, don't tell him just yet. We okay, gotta give him the run. Okay, 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 okay. So let's just give a quick backstory. Golly. <laughs> all right. Hold on. Ghost is complaining. He's outside. Let me grab it. Quick. Come on. This is crazy, y'all. I'm not even playing. Look at his. What? His butt? It's wet. This dude's ghost ass. It's crazy. Okay, get out. So let's just get into it. Let's be honest. Like the tea. Okay. We've been preparing for this wedding. Mm for a few months, you know, we knew that it was gonna come up. We wanted our families to be there, our parents, very, very specific, our parents and our siblings. A few months prior, we decided to take Omar's dad shopping. Man, we had to get my dog right. You know, yeah. Candace came up with this amazing mood board and I sent it to my dad and he's like, what the hell is this? Mind you, my dad is 80, so he's never seen a mood board a day in his life, let alone <laughs> even knows what the hell Pinterest is, right? You know, we do him a favor, we bring him out shopping with us, we get him fitted, you know what I mean? We, got, fresh. we got the guy looking good, he yeah. looking good. Not only did we prepare with Omar's dad, we got his outfits, we knew that we wanted like an old Hollywood meets Italian Riviera theme, super classic and timeless. timeless. We know for the next wedding, we want to be able to do whatever we want to do. So this one, we wanted to keep it simple and clean and to the point. Nice and neat. Very small circle and just like a clean ass whip. Drop top, on the run vibes. Yep, bail out, blown in the wind, just, bouquet up in the air, all of that. Omar found this amazing car. He, when he showed it to me online, I was like, that is the one. Classic ride, 1967 Pontiac, drop top, black. Gorgeous. 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 And we were like, that, that's the one. So let's go ahead and grab that. Also, Omar and I, we just did two different, completely different things when it came to getting our outfits. I got so lucky. Meshki sent me so many dresses. I literally tried on three and those were the ones that I ended up wearing. I had some custom made tuxedo pants and I never got the jacket completed to go with it. So I was like, oh, this is the perfect time for it. I handed over to a seamstress who's gonna match the fabric and then began to build me a custom tuxedo jacket. For whatever reason, you know, I didn't get the jacket back until the day before the wedding. All right, now. Which uh, is. It's stressful. But he got it. 
I got it. Nonetheless, I got the jacket back, okay? It just doesn't fit. Again, we're getting married tomorrow, all right? Luckily, I have a great seamstress around the corner from us that I take all of my suits to. So I take it to her, she's able to get it done for me, all right? But I'm not able to pick it up until the following morning, AKA wedding day at 7 a.m. So I go pick it up at 7 a.m. There's one last change that I need that she's able to do. So I leave it with her while I go get a haircut. He okay. goes and gets a haircut on his wedding day. That's crazy. Who don't want to, that's like. Okay, I get it, but I think, I don't know. I don't know what people do. Like, I, don't I, you get your hair done yes, on wedding right. day? I guess, okay, okay. Don't you okay. get your, eye, your yes, makeup done on yes, wedding day? Yes, but they come to, that's why they come over. Okay. So to go over there, that's a, that's besides the point, y'all. Our run of schedule for the day, we had a very tight schedule. Morning time is photo shoot time because at 4 p.m. we are hopping on our yacht to head into the California marina so that we could just be in our vibes and do our vows on the yacht for sunset that mm -hmm. was the goal you know the sun is kind of dictating our day because yep. you know we're it's doing the sun's actually dictating the entire day so we decided that we wanted to be done shooting by 12 therefore we need to be there around 10 10 30 take some shots bring our dogs and have <laughs> our dogs with us because zoo out here Literally. we wanted to have them with us so we wanted to be done by 12 to then relax a little bit, ride around in the whip, you know, just have a romantic day. She says all of that. She says our goal is to be done by 12. It's 10 a.m. I'm just now getting my jacket back. I'm full throttle in my glam room, getting glammed, listening to Selection Radio, so zen. Such a calm morning on my end. Meanwhile, Omar is going through it between the car, his suit, and his haircut, just like, he's having a whole moment, but I lot. know nothing. It's okay? a lot. I get back home, I rush in the house, it's like 10, 15. I know we wanna leave out of here by 10, 30, 11, or be shooting be, by 11. Be there, bye. Yep, I, I have no fear though, because I'm like, I literally, all I have to do is put on my clothes. Well, my dad's helped me put on my cuff links, Help me make sure my collar is flipped over, my tie is nice and perfect and straight. And they're like, boy, you look sharp. I'm like, man, I feel good, I feel good. I got on like these nice shades. I step outside, it feels good outside, but there's clear sky, so the sun is full blasting outside. It was one of the hottest days of the year. I'm bouncing back and forth between the sun and the shade. I catch a glimpse of myself in the reflection. I notice in the reflection that my jacket and my pants are two different shades. I take off my glasses, I'm like, nah, I'm, I gotta be tripping. I take off my glasses and I see, yeah, yeah, it's clear as day, they're two different shades. So I don't know what happened, but the shit is off. At the same time, Duke is now pulling up with the car. He's got a list of shit that he has to tell me what's going on with this car. There's no AC, the radio doesn't work. If you don't turn on the car before you try to drop the top, you'll kill the battery. It, it's an older car, so the heat from the engine comes through the car. These are all- And it's hot. And it, it's like Candace said, it's one of the hottest days in the valley, okay? It's cooking outside. And I'm like, great, my suit doesn't match. We're gonna be hot as <laughs> Is there anything else I need to and know? And no music And while there's no we're music, and there's no music, so we can't set the vibe. Great. Okay. Okay. All right. You cool. know. I have no idea. It's time to do first looks. I walk outside. I see my fine ass husband to be standing there. I know we're late. I'm just like, you know what? It's fine. Wedding days, they never go on time, right? So whatever. Yeah, it was what, probably 1130. Like, it was like 11.20. <laughs> it was okay, it was 11.20. We still had to get to the shoot to then be shooting by noon, I guess, like the opposite. He tells me the news about the car. I go to sit in the car. The seats are leather, so. Asperg. I'm wearing short, I'm wearing short dress. Sizzle buns, okay? Sizzle buns. I had sizzle buns, but we are moving through the day. It's all good, no problem. So now we have Omar's car filled with our team and the dogs, the dogs okay? So Omar's whip. Our whip. Before we, we leave the house, Omar's dad is like, Omar, let me take a picture with you, man, before you leave. Omar goes, man, I'm gonna see you in a couple hours. Let's take a picture on the yacht. Cause my dad wasn't dressed. He wasn't my dressed. Dad, dad, my, dad was, my dad was just in his regular clothes. Cause they didn't have to be there till four. So the parents didn't have to get ready till later. So yep. we knew we had to just get gone. So Omar's like, we're running really behind. I'm gonna take a picture with you on the yacht. See you there. Omar's dad takes a picture of me. <laughs> He's like, you're looking good, kid. And I'm like, thanks, Dad. Whatever. So we all pull out of the driveway. Don't even make it out the neighborhood. Blade up the course. street and around the corner. We're cooking. We're starting to just 
sweat. Candace's like, face is coming off. <laughs> I'm starting to drench. I'm, li I'm like, nah, we gotta no. pull this thing over. So we switch cars. Omar and I go in, our, in his car. The team is riding the whip so that their makeup doesn't have to melt off. <laughs> um, I happen to sit in the back seat. The dogs are in the third row. Honey and Ghost just want to be. It's like they knew it was wedding day and they just wanted to just be extra. I have Honey reaching over and her her mouth is just next to me. And she's like. <laughs> <laughs> She's making all of these weird <laughs> ass sounds I've never heard her make before. So I got the dogs literally in my ear. I'm in my wedding dress. We're headed to the thing late. I'm like, it's gonna be all right. We're good. Let's just get there. We get to the location. It's already cooler. It's 20 degrees cooler. <laughs> Feels good. It's actually perfect. We the, the sun is directly on top of us, but even though it's on top of us, it's still allowing us to get the shot. That we how we need it and you wanted somehow i don't know how but it worked like yeah. people are like being so nice people are so nice to the point where they're actually stopping i mean i'm i got the car in the middle of the road no one's honking no one's calling us assholes or no one's being any they any type like, of rude people are allowing us to get the shot and if they did beef it was like it was like a congratulations, congratulations. it was so such wow. a dope day such it, a dope moment dope dope moment everybody was being so sweet those tmz buses were kept stopping yep. and like being like yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. they're getting married congratulations it was just so great the it shots was, were coming out so dope the shoot worked out perfectly yeah at 2 p.m. or something like nah, that? We wanted to be, we wanted to leave there at 2.30 and I remember us finishing at 2.20. Yeah. So I was like, man, we're perfect on time. Like, yeah. we couldn't be any better on time. Like we fin And when I say finish, I mean like, in the car Candace and I are in the car ready to go, it's 2.20. I, I got a message from my sister. The message says, hey bro, I'm sorry. Uh, we got to rush dad to the hospital. It's looking like him and I aren't going to make it. Right? And I'm like, completely confused and honestly just like stuck really really frozen in the moment and not really understanding I, I can't i can't really quite quite grasp what she really said so i gotta really call her i give her a call and it's nothing but frantic energy on the other end of this phone whether they're at the hospital or on the way to the hospital i'm not sure i just know that like between my mom my sister candace's mom and maybe candace's brother yeah there's four different stories about four different perspectives about how this situation went down omar's father had some type of an episode where he ended up passing out and up. waking up to throw up. He had an acai bowl, pink red color. It's purple, like so purple red. So purple red. So he woke up throwing up and then was just out of it in a daze. So I everyone guess, in the car is freaking out. My they, brother they, thinks it's blood. Everyone thinks he's throwing up blood. And they go ahead and rush, rush him, him to, the to the hospital. Thankfully for, for us, my sister lives right down the street from Kaiser Hospital. So they were able to rush him there within minutes. And, I, and in the meantime, my mother's calling me like, hey, I don't know what's going on. Just head towards the yacht. I'm sorry to tell you this, but like we are at the hospital now. Until we got the answer that he was up and talking, you know, we didn't feel comfortable doing anything. When they told us yeah. he was up and they were just doing tests on him and they had the IVs in him and things like that. I'm like, oh, okay, he must have just passed out because of the heat or something like that. They decided, okay, we're gonna head over to the yacht. We're gonna meet you guys there. We have to leave him here. At that point, we're on the middle of the highway, on the 405, if you don't know, 405 is packed, jam-packed on a Friday. Friday, rush hour. Headed to the marina. It is the hottest day of the year, again. Drop top, stuck in traffic. I'm holding up my bouquet to stop the sun. Men, you know, when you dress and you take off in a car, you know, to be comfortable, you take off your jacket. You know what I mean? Put it behind you or whatnot. But when I got the call about my dad, I'm so in a daze. You know, I didn't think about anything. You know what I mean? So I just. He's cooking. I'm He's cooking. I'm fully dressed out here in the sun, baking. There's no way to hide from the shade. Other than my bouquet. My bouquet is nice and Candace big Candice is doing her greatest job of trying to help Holding me. Holding this thing up for 45 minutes. But all it's doing is causing everybody on the freeway <laughs> go to crazy. go crazy. They're honking. honking. Congratulations. All of the 405 is honking at it. It is so loud. And all I want to do is Think. And cry. I'm just trying to think. 
Like, and I cannot even hear my own thoughts. I've never had so many conversations going 35 miles an hour <laughs> on, the on the highway in my life. Ever. I Yo, mean, bro, you looking like a lucky man. Yes, sir. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, yeah. And they're like, y'all doing it, y'all did it. Oh my God, like all kinds of different from all over the world like it was it could have been such a beautiful moment it was a beautiful it moment was beautiful. to see how much people support nah. and like you know one Love of them was like union. even like where is your just married time we're like because we're not married yet we're on our way like, yeah. what are you talking about we make it to the marina what made it really comfortable too is i had a really good friend who was watching our dogs who decided to say Hey, you know what? I'm gonna go up there and just hang with your dad until after the, the ceremony, or I'll hang with him until he's ready, which really gave me a, a really good sense of relief, you know what I mean? Because that was one thing I was really struggling with. So at least my dad has someone there that could kind of be with him um, while we kind of figure the rest of this out. And seeing Omar just like really obviously out of it, no woman wants to have their husband or have their father-in-law. That's just like kind of, I don't know, it was the worst feeling, especially from my end. Uh, I'm like, I just don't- Terrible feeling. I was ready to can the day, yeah. to be honest. And, and, it was uh, almost like already canceled. It's crazy, because once, once we got to the marina, you know, for one, I had to take a walk myself. And then I come back and I'm like, hey babe, come walk with me. You know what I mean? We take a walk, we talk about it, we call the hospital. They're not allowed to let us speak to him because he's in the, the ER and there's no phone in there. I call them back and explain to them what's going on. I'm like, hey, listen, you know, I'm getting married today and my dad was obviously supposed to be here. I just really needed to hear his voice. So just to speak to him, you know what I mean? Like I, I just needed to make sure that he was okay. So they agree, they finally, I don't know how, but they get him the phone and he lets me know he's okay. So that right there gave us, yeah, I guess just the courage just to go ahead and do move forward. You know what I mean? Even though it was such a hard decision, but it's the biggest day of our lives, you know what I mean? And everyone else is here, so. Um, right, family had flown in too, so it was just like, th what he said in the moment was like, when else are we gonna really have everyone here at the same time, at the same place? Like, we're already, we're ready. It was here, already so, hard. It was so already hard enough to get everyone. Just, just, just our immediate family yes. together, you know what I mean? Especially with my brother, not, you know, with work and all that stuff in my family, my mom, my dad, my stepmom. It was just a lot, so we, Decided to get on the yacht. This is two days before. Oh my gosh. The only hurricane that's ever hit California. You ever heard of a hurricane coming to LA? In history. Never. Hurricane whomever is on the way. And we. The one day that we decide to be on the water, we never get a boat. Never get a boat in LA. The day we decide to get a boat. The hurricane is on the way. It's on the way. So, but hey. Clear skies, you know how like the weather it gets looks really beautiful. Yeah. Outside. As we set sail, everything is amazing, everything is set up. We got vegan food, we got the, the drinks for the parents, we got like our cake, we we have and it, and we have our, our setup, like our flag that says just married on it, we got our custom blanket. And, uh, I got it, I got it, I got it. I said welcome back. I made it this dope playlist. And I wanna say so like it honestly once I Turned it on once we got on the boat. It really, truly made me feel better. And everybody on the on the yacht. And you gotta understand, like we have older people, aka our parents, us. You know what I mean? Which is like the younger generation. But also, you know, my past, our pastor slash my um, coach and his wife. You know, there's everyone has a flavor for different types of music and genres, right? But there's a blend of everything on this playlist. So it's it's, it's really setting up the vibe. And you know, it's, it's putting us all in, in great spirits. Like honestly, true. It really switched the vibe. Yeah. So then once we, the vibes were switched, it we're having a good time, boom, the boat starts rocking. <laughs> the boat starts rocking. The captain's like, yo, Omar, where do you want to go? I'm like, take him to the Palisades. He's like, the Palisades? Okay, that's nice. We're rolling. Like this Candace says, the boat starts rocking. We are just I'm, I'm like, like, okay. Hey, Wes. <laughs> Captain West. Hey, Captain West. Hey, I think this is good right, right here. here. I think this is good right here. They're like, like he tells tell me it's, it's thirty more minutes before we get there. Yeah, no. And at this point, we're in front of Santa Monica Pier. Yeah. I'm like, hey, you know what? This That's... feels like a good spot to us. Yeah, let's, let's anchor down. Let's anchor down and, and get let's do let's it. Let's get these vows done let's do right it. now. Do it. So I'm feeling a little tweezy, but I'm not really. I'm not gonna pay it no mind. Okay, so it it's about time to do our vows. I get my vows out. You know, I wrote them out the night before. I go, so the, the whole setup was gonna be at the front of the yacht. So I make my way over to the front of the yacht. I'm like, calling 
on the parents. Everybody, come on, get your seats. Sit down. We didn't rehearse none of this, you guys. You know, none of it. Weddings we rehearsed. We didn't get to see the boat till we got on it. <laughs> uh, so I'm laid out, just like really, just like, ooh, maybe I'm just so nervous. I'm just L so L nervous. Literally, the last thing the groom wants to see <laughs> is his bride <laughs> laid out, out like this. Talk about something. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I just need a second. I just, I just need, need a second. second. I, no. I'm not knowing what this motion is. I'm like, ooh, is this no. what people feel like before they walk down the aisle? Ain't no aisle, girl. There's a. <laughs> There's just a space between the seating area and the rim and the railing to then be able to. I was like, okay, let's just run it. <laughs> let's so do it. Let's our do pastor, it. he ends up getting in position in the front center. It's so rocky. I'm like, hey, coach, you can sit down, bro. It's gonna be a rocky road. You can sit there if you want. Yeah, please. Right. Here we go. Yeah, make that comfortable for you. Here and we he's go. like, cool. Thank you. I'm gonna sit down. <laughs> oh my. Hey, babe, what song are you trying to walk down the aisle to? This is crazy. I'm like. She don't even know. I don't know. Shade, soldier love. He was like, okay. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, dad, you try to walk down with me? He's like, okay, cool, let's do it. We go over to the side. I grab onto my dad. I'm like, Omar plays the thing from his phone. We're holding on, the boat's rocking. Okay. I'm like, dad, you ready? Go on the beat. <laughs> and he's like, all right. So we start walking. We are like this. damn near falling <laughs> over. It junk. was just like the most unromantic walk towards oh my, my future gosh, husband. Bruh. I then get to the front. I'm holding on. I grab onto Omar, leg split. Holding on to Omar, holding on to dad. Same by to dad. They give each other gap. It was just that rocky. I do. I do. Okay, once we get everything situated, we'll be good. Okay? And it's time to do our vows. We're doing our vows. Omar hits me with this poem. And I'm just like between crying of happiness. I'm so emotional. I'm like, I can't believe we're here right now. These are all the things that are going on in my head. And as I'm hearing these beautiful words come out of his mouth and just like <laughs> he's hitting all the points that I've dreamed of my whole life. I'm like, I'm about to throw up right here, right now. And crazy. I'm about to throw up. This is crazy. That way towards him. Mind you, my brother has a laptop up doing a Zoom for the whole, whole entire family. family of 45 people on a Zoom, calling in from Singapore, calling in from all everywhere. I'm like, this is not the time to throw up. Hold it together. <laughs> so then I go into my vows. They were so long and drawn out. What do you think of my vows? Oh, they were great, but they were incredible. Okay. It was, but it's funny. She had a whole paper. <laughs> she was like, oh, literally like a book. She's in her book writing mode right yeah, now. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Turning pages. Okay. She's turning, she turning pages. It was yeah. one sheet, y'all, and I turned she, it around. She's turning pages. She's doing too much. So then <laughs> we got through the vows. Perfect. I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't throw up. Cool. I get to the oh, back. Man. I sit down. My mom gives me this beautiful plate. The food ended up being amazing. I take three bites. Three minutes later, I'm yakking over the side of the yacht on my wedding day. Just projectile throw up. My dad's All like, I hear is oh my. Your wife is throwing up. Your wife is throwing up. All I hear, I feel is Omar coming, yanking my hair back, holding me back from Oh my god. All the debacle of the day. I'm throwing up. Cool. Not a big deal. This boat is going crazy. I go, I lay down, I get my shit together, I sit up, I look to the left, my stepmom is yakking over the boat, and my dad is like consoling her. I look forward, my mom is in a blue bag just yakking Even the whole up. entire day. I look to the right, our pastor and his wife are just consoling each other because they're about to go down in flames. Omar's mom is doing what I was doing at the beginning of the boat. Stretched just out. Just stretched out, trying to not. Omar's over here giggling, kiki and My brother is over here laughing at everybody. And Keisha, his sister, is doing the same. So we have the three, the three stooges just <laughs> really just looking around laughing. I'm just like, I can't believe it. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> my, you what's my, right my, now? We're supposed to be on this boat for four hours, from four to eight. Mm -mm. It's probably 5.30 <laughs> max. Captain West, turn this shit around, Turn bro. this shit around. Hey, turn this shit around, bro. We gotta head back. He said what? I said, yeah, it's, it's good. We're ready to go back in. We're ready. We're ready to go back in. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're just not gonna make it for the time. We're just good. not. Let's head on back. Take it back on in. So, everyone's sick, okay? Sick. Can we get into the harbor? 
Fat got a little bit better. He rolled around the harbor for a little bit. But we were more than happy to get the hell off that boat. Mind you, my dad's still in the hospital though. So we're like, all right. Let's go visit him. It's looking like he's not gonna get out tonight, so. And then we called them and they were like, you're not, uh, visitors aren't, aren't allowed after a certain time. So, so we're like, all we right. We were like tapped with that. We're all like, right, let's just all right. get gonna He's gonna get out tomorrow anyway. Let's just take the cake home. We'll cut the cake home at home with him tomorrow. This is go home, home bruh. We get on the highway, back on the 405. And yes, the f***ing unspeakable happens. What could make this day any worse? Honestly, this is the worst, best day of our lives. We uh, ran out of gas. On the way home. And I just ordered the food. So the food's probably gonna get there before we do. Say hey, Omar. Hey. Yay. We run out of gas on, on the, the 405. 405. Barely off the Santa Monica exit. Barely made it. Bare barely. So we rolled our way. Literally, literally rolled. The, the car, literally, I'm, I got my foot on the gas and I hear, boom, boom, boom. I'm like, I, I'm, honest, I'm honest, I've never ran out of gas before. I had to call my brother. They went to go get gas for us. Omar puts in the damn gas tank thing. The top of it fell into the tank. They're gonna be watching this. Sorry, y'all. <coughs> there is a piece of plastic in your gas tank. <laughs> what do you want us to do? Like, and then a tow truck came and found us, and they were like, he's "You're like, in a very he's dangerous like, you spot. You're in a bad spot. You get people get killed around here." I'm like, like "Yeah, thank you, bro, but uh, there's like, nowhere else oh for us to be." God, there's no. We don't. What we do? What, did what you do you want, want me to do? do? You want to push the car in my suit? No, it's not happening. I'm sorry. No, at this point, I'm. I've had it up to here <laughs> with the day. To here. So, okay? and that's literally how the day ended, you guys. We got home, we kissed each other, we were so happy, but we're like, let's be done. This shit is over. This day is through. It's been the best worst day of my life. Best worst day ever. And everyone that we've told is like, you're, you're lying. We had to go see Omar's dad the next day at the hospital. Thank you, God, he's fine. Uh, He's home what now, what so did good. it end up being? I think it was a combination of three things. I think he didn't take his medication. I think he was dehydrated. And I just think he was excited from, from what was going to happen that day. So, so we definitely missed him. It was not like the same. Like that was the point no. was literally to have our parents there. And the we whole didn't point, get that. The whole point was to do a small intimate gathering for our union of love for just our parents and our siblings. That wasn't completed. That wasn't accomplished. And you know, we had these big beautiful dreams of this beautiful car and like the car ended up doing us dirty. All I know is we need to redo. We need to redo, we need to redo. and we're gonna do it. We were gonna do it regardless. This was just for us to do, you know, an intimate situation, but. So we can get our life started. Yeah. I just wanted to come on here with my husband mm. And tell y'all thank you so much for always being here, always supporting us. And we are so happy that you've been a part of this journey from the very beginning. Yeah. You know, it's been years, literally. We can go back to the date of the first video that we shot with you guys. And you guys have always been so supportive of us. And it we means really a lot to us. That. And we yeah. enjoy having you and bring you along for the ride. So hopefully you guys enjoy this story. Yeah. We, and we, laugh. We're, we're entertained by it. And the devil tried it. But guess what? The devil did not win. No. Nah, now nah, God still got us. God still, God got, still us. got us. Even through, through the storm. Literally. Literally. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Through even, through, even through the storm, you know, he stood by our side and was there with us every step of the way, so. Yeah, he got us through it and he showed us like, we gonna make it through whatever, yeah. so. We love you guys. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Make sure you comment. What is your favorite part that you were just like, oh no, that did not happen. We need to know all the things. Talk to us because we <laughs> let talk us know. Yeah, yeah, let seriously. us know and we're gonna be giving you guys all the tea. Don't forget forward. to like this video and any other videos that you guys may be checking out um, before or after this. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. Yep. All right, talk to you later.